Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I get to do one of my favorite things because it's that time of month again for my favorites video. Now in this video, I'm gonna focus down on my favorite drugstore skincare products that I discovered in the last month. Going forward, this is gonna be a feature here on the channel when I wanna fangirl a bit about those affordable and drugstore skincare products. I don't have anything against luxury and higher price skincare, but trust me when I say the drugstore is where it's at. You don't need to compromise on outcomes because you're looking to reduce the cost of your skincare routine. With the price of everything going up, up and up, I know we're all about saving some of our hard-earned coin and genuinely, these products could transform your skincare routine and also reduce the overall cost of it too. What's not to love? So sit back, relax, let's talk my June skincare favourites. Now before we get into this video, I'm keeping it super sharp, sharp and to the point because you guys always roast me to filth in the comments below saying I have the longest intros. I'm trying to work on this, so all I will say is if you like me, you like the channel, you love drugstore skincare, don't forget to reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. I'm always so grateful for each and every one of you that takes the time out of your day to do that, so just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I've got a lot to say, a lot of product to get through, so let's cut that waffle and just delve straight on in. And I'm gonna start with cleansers. And I've got two fabulously affordable but luxury feeling cleansers, and it's these two. Let's start with the Revolution Skincare Vitamin C Cream Cleanser. I love this so, so much. I kind of tried to match my top with the product. I know I didn't quite get it right, but you know what? Points for effort, I think, on that one. This super luxurious feeling. It just glides onto the skin. It's got like a satin finish, so, so nice. It's got some vitamin C. Do I think, you know, that's gonna do a whole lot of benefit when you're only leaving it on the skin 60 seconds? Probably not, but at the margins, you might get some brightness from this product too. I paid four pounds for this. So affordable, you get 150 ml, so a little does go a long way and it lasts forever. And it's just a really nice luxury feeling cleanser that doesn't break the bank. I'm loving Revolution Skincare at the moment. I think this is probably one of my favorite, favorite products from them. A brand that's really, really accessible in the States is this. This is Derma E. Now, not the cheapest of the brands out there, but definitely one that's accessible and their products, I think, have a more luxurious feel than the price point would suggest. This is a little bit difficult to get here in the UK, but very kindly, William, who's a fantastic friend and subscriber, sent me some of the Derma E products, and honestly, I've been loving each and every one of them. I think my favorite is this. This is Derma E Advanced Peptides Flora Collagen Gentle Jelly Cleanser ridiculously long name. I think brands should work on this in 2022. Reduce the name, the size and the length of the names and titles of their products. But this is worth pronouncing time and time again because it's so, so luxurious feeling. It's got rice powder in here, which gives a very, very slight manual exfoliation. Don't think like St. Ives apricot scrub, nothing abrasive like that. Just a very gentle feeling on the skin that'll help to sloth off some of those dead skin cells as you cleanse at the same time. I use this like two or three times a week to kind of dial up my exfoliation game, bring a little manual exfoliation in without risking a product that's too, too abrasive. I just love this and it's got a really, really nice scent to it. The scent here is lavender, so if that's not for you, this maybe isn't the right product for you, but I love that. Something to pick me up on a morning or calm me down in the evening. This product is one that I just know I'm going to be purchasing time and time again. Now those two were definitely for the face, but we need to show the body some love too. And honestly, a revelation of a product when I discovered it was this. This is the Get Fresh by Nod. Nod is an in-house brand of Marks and Spencers, which have physical stores here in the UK, Ireland, the rest of Europe, Thailand, I think they've got them as well. And they do also have an online presence too. This looks bougie. You'd see this on someone's vanity and think, yeah, they probably spent like, you know, 15, 16 pounds on that. Four pounds. Four pounds for 500 ml of body wash. And this is really, really gentle. They say that you can use it on the hair, the face and the body, which I'm always a bit skeptical when brands say that because the body can tolerate a lot more than the face and the hair generally can, which can end up a bit stripped and dried. This doesn't, super gentle, super versatile. So this comes with to the gym when I just kind of want to get it all done in one. I don't really have time for different products. I just want to go in the shower, do what I need to do and come out clean and fresh. This is the one that I reach for. It's got quite an innovative cap that twists up like that. So if you've ever remember like the 7% toning solution from The Ordinary, same cap as that, which I like, something a bit different and the scent, oh. This is, it's like bergamot heaven. I absolutely love this. Bergamot is one of my favorite, favorite scents. I tend to avoid bergamot essential oil in skincare for the face because it can be a little bit irritating. But on the body, it can be great. And this isn't essential oil. It's like the extract that they use for the fragrance here. One of my favorite, favorite body washes I've ever discovered. I might be rivaling this product up here, which is the rose by any other name by Aesop. That is seven times more expensive than this. Four pounds, 
what's not to love. Definitely, definitely a product that I would check out if you're heading to Marks and Spencer's anytime. Buy that, you'll love it. Now, two lip products that I've been fangirling about this month are these two. I'm gonna give an absolutely shameless plug to my own product, which is the Mad About Skin Nourishing Lip Conditioner. I tend not to fangirl too much about my own products, because it's a little bit cringe, but of course I love them all. I put my name on them. But the one that I'm most proud in terms of the formulation of what it delivers is the Nourishing Lip Conditioner, because I think it's really difficult to find a really nice game-changing lip balm at the drugstore and at drugstore prices that's actually going to give you long-term benefits rather than short-term relief. I'm really proud of the formulation which contains shea butter, other oils, humectants, it's got antioxidants, botanicals, it's just got everything you need to nourish the lip, lock in the hydration to the extent that you just need to use it morning and evening and it's kind of got you covered the whole day. So not that reapplying every hour on the hour because the lip balm isn't performing. This stunning and if you wanted to get your hands on it you can use the code that's on screen. If you buy three units you get 25% off the whole lot. I did this because I think a lot of people like to have multiple lip balms, one for the purse, one for the bathroom, one for a friend, all that good stuff. You buy three, you get 25% off and so it just brings that affordable price down even further. And the brand that is also formulated with shea butter, like is in my own product, is this. This is the Apothecary Nourishing Lip Balm, available again at Max and Spencer's. Now, I always feel really guilty when I mention Max and Spencer's skincare, because early on in my skincare journey, I said on a video that I loved Max and Spencer's skincare. It was almost worth walking past the dodgy clothing to get to it. Max and Spencer's clearly watched that video because they said, oh, thanks for loving our skincare. Never mentioned that I roasted their clothing. And actually, they've been really, really kind and generous in terms of letting me know of new launches and kind of keeping me updated, which I love. I always, always shop their skincare because their own brands, entirely cruelty free, drugstore, formulated to perfection. This lip balm has shea butter in, which is one of the key ingredients in my own lip balm. It's also got some vitamin E as well for some antioxidant benefit. I don't think it's quite as long lasting as the Mad About Skin one, but if you want something in a really handy travel tube like this, it's definitely up there when you compare and contrast it to others on the market. It's got a really nice applicator if you can see that, and it's just a really gorgeous and affordable product. And definitely, if you're buying that um, body wash at Max Dispensers, put one of these in your basket too, you'll love it. Now, a brand that I've always always avoided but I thought based on your guys recommendations I'm gonna give a second look to it is Lush. I just when I walk past the shops the scent is just overwhelming I think no I don't want any of something that's that scented going anywhere near my skin but I have discovered a couple of holy grails that I do want to share with you. Let's start with this this is their silky underwear dusting powder. Now dusting powders have been around for millennia it's something that was invented in like the Victorian era it usually contained a lot of talc which the modern equivalents don't and it had an element of fragrance and what you tended to do was dust them onto the skin after you've had your wash keep things fresh all day long. This is kind of in a world before deodorants and deodorizing powders and all of that good stuff. They've kind of made a bit of a resurgence and you know what I love 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 dusting powders. They are great because they leave a silky finish to the skin. They help to absorb any excess sweat and perspiration. So in these warm summer months a dusting powder all over the body can just feel so luxurious and leave you feeling like pampered all day long. It's also great if you're at the beach and you get sand all over you particularly in any let's just call them crevices. You get sand on you and you want something to get rid of it. Throw some dust powder on and that sand will just slip right off the skin so it's definitely definitely a top hack if you're going to the beach. My favourite is the one by um, Lush which is so fantastic. Talc free and definitely definitely look out for that if you want to try a dusting powder. You put a little bit of this on the skin that'll do like the whole arm so I put way too much on there but then you just work it in. It disappears without a trace there's no ashiness or white cast left behind. It feels so luxurious. This one is cocoa butter scented. So, oh, it just feels like you're at the spa at a retreat. It leaves your skin silky smooth. And again, it just absorbs any excess sweat and perspiration that you might have during the day. This isn't gonna work if you've got super dry skin types, I will call that out, because it kind of is designed to mattify things. But if, like me, you get a bit sweaty, you get a bit oily and a bit greasy during the day, put this on the body to just bring a little sensorial bliss. I, I absolutely love this one. Talc free, and there are some other ones, but they tend to cater for what I would call um, an old-fashioned clientele. You know, a lot of them are very, very heavily gardenia scented, which isn't gonna be to everyone. This, I think, is taking dusting powders into the modern age that anyone would be proud to wear with just a really, really nice scent. Definitely gonna recommend. Now, I always try to mention in these style of videos, you know, products from a range of different countries are accessible to as many people as possible. And one thing that I'm trying to explore a little bit more is European skincare. 
skincare or, you know, European drugstore skincare. Because here in the UK, we tend to have very different products available to us as what they do in the European Union. And one brand that I discovered when I was in Portugal is this one. This is Vanessa Wardle Dermatology, and they're a really affordable, well-priced brand. They're actually a Canadian brand, so I'm assuming you can get them in Canada too, but they're available in a lot of big supermarkets in mainland Europe. I picked these up in Continente, which is like a really big chain supermarket in Europe, and I think they were like three pounds each absolutely love them. So this is the booster and illuminating serum, obviously vitamin C based, but in a derivative, which I like, super gentle, yet you get really good results from this. But my favourite is this one. This is the Revolutionized Booster, which has magnesium. It's got some um, other calming and soothing ingredients in here, such as panthenol. It's got some humectants. So it's a really nice buffering serum between like your low pH products and say your peptides. That magnesium is actually really difficult to find in a lot of skincare at a reasonable price, which I love. It calms, it's super it has some other benefits too and the packaging is just divine if you look at the color of this product like it's enough to make you want to reach for it every single day so i would definitely say if you're in mainland europe and you're shopping in continente or any other big supermarket check out the vanessa wardle serums definitely definitely would recommend them i just think they're absolutely amazing for like the three or four pounds that they want to charge now, finally, let's talk this product, the Garnier Bio Vitamin C. I also picked this up in Portugal with those other two, but this is available internationally. Anywhere you can get Garnier, you can get this product. This is a low strength vitamin C day cream, and honestly, I love it. There's no SPF in here, so I'm going to call it out. Often when we hear day cream, we think with an SPF to boot. It doesn't have it in there, so you will want to use your SPF alongside it, but it's just a really, really nice product. I paid £3.95 for this, so it's not expensive. It's is got a very, very light, uplifting scent to it, which I enjoy on a morning. I like the sensory in my skincare routine. I know a lot of people like fragrance-free, and some of these recommendations are fragrance-free, but, but something like pick you up and invigorate you for the day, I'm all about. This, so, so nice, cruelty-free, as are all of the recommendations I'm making today, and I always applaud Garnier for going cruelty-free, making the right choice in 2022. And this is just a really, really nice product. It's got a 3% concentration of a vitamin C derivative there, so it's not like super potent. But you know what? For something that you're gonna wear day in, day out, to bring a little extra brightening around the margins, I think this is a really, really nice product. It leaves the skin feeling super smooth, but doesn't wear you down. Great for like combination skin, because it kind of balances everything out and a great product to reach for in summer. Now, finally, I'm going to end on a fragrance. Um, I don't really talk about fragrance on the channel because we're all about skincare, but I want to call this product out because I tried it and I've fallen in love. This is the Autograph Warm Sandalwood Fragrance. I love this. Made in the UK, and I'm all about supporting local brands where I can. This is actually available in Marks and Spencers, like the body wash and the lip balm. But this looks so bougie, so luxurious. Perfect unisex fragrance. And this... £7.50. So affordable for the quality. Like, you look at you think you pay a lot more for that. And this, I'm just gonna have a spritz now because it smells so, so good. If you like sandalwood and like oud, something that's really luxurious feeling, takes you back to something that's really exotic, but also just lasts all day. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And it's got a really nice, fine atomizer on there so it doesn't clump. Oh, I, I just cannot. It's really difficult to describe scent through a video, but I just say, if you can get your hands on this to test it, you will buy it literally within seconds because it smells so, so good. And I just know that this is going to be my scent of the summer. And it sort of looks really nice. and something you'd be proud to put on your vanity. One spritz lasts you all day. And that has just set me. It, it's just so nice. Takes you to a different world. Definitely would recommend. So there you have it, guys. My drugstore skincare favourites and a fragrance thrown in for free. What are your thoughts and feelings? Sound up in the comment section below with any of your favourite drugstore products, particularly anything out of the North American market, because I really want this to become a series here on the channel. And your recommendations shape the products that I try and review in the future. So wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.